This video is proudly brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. Bowie, please. Bowie. Bowie, don't. She keeps trying to, I have some Apple Jacks on the table and she keeps, she keeps trying to get the Apple Jacks and I'm like, dude, you don't need, you're already overweight enough. Like you don't need Apple Jacks, you know? You don't need Apple Jacks. But anyway, what's up guys? Welcome back to my last video of 2018. Now for today's video, it was actually a suggestion from one of my subscribers like a long time ago. Because as you guys know, in my, in my channel, I like to show art supplies that is as cheap as possible because I truly, truly don't think you need expensive supplies to make good artwork. And I do think you need decent art supplies to make artwork. You know what I mean? Like expensive art supplies isn't always good and cheap art supplies isn't always bad. So I was suggested to switch it up a little bit and try out the most expensive art supplies that I own. So throughout this whole entire video, I'm gonna dig out and find my most bougie, most ridiculous, most overly priced art supplies, and I'm including everything, pens, paper, pencils, all of that is gonna be the most high-end stuff that I have. And I just want to throw in there that obviously I'm not trying to show off or anything, but I do think it'll be a good art experiment and I do think that it'll give me a chance to just sit down and draw and practice with some supplies that I never get to use and, you know, just switch it up on my channel because I like to use such cheap supplies all the time. And I do want to apologize if this video was a little rough, you know, I wanted to go home and spend time with my family for Christmas. So anyway, guys, without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Like, why waste time? Why, why do that? So the very first thing that every single artist has to have to make any kind of artwork is paper. Now this paper isn't just normal sketchbook paper. Oh no, no, no. This sketchbook paper is the Stillman and Byrne Premium Gray Nova Series sketchbook. This is pretty much like one of the top tier quality sketchbooks that you can pretty much get. Now the original price of this was originally $30 and by the absolute grace of God, because for me personally I would never ever ever buy this full price, but just by the grace of God, I managed to get this sketchbook for only 7 bucks, so it's an absolute steal in my opinion. Now just for the sake of the video, we're going to go ahead and count it as its original 30 bucks. Now, I've actually had this sketchbook for a while, probably about a good five, six months. I just haven't really gotten around to using it because once I saw that they were all on clearance, I went ahead and bought like every single one that I could find. So this one's pretty much like the last brand new one that I have and uh, what better use for it than a video? Oh, this paper quality. When you compare the quality of these two, this one feels like silk. It feels almost like cotton. And of course, this one feels like regular paper. Now the next item that I am gonna need, again, is one of the absolute essentials when it comes to drawing. And you guys may have already seen this and you guys might already know what this is. Uh, I did a whole entire video on it. And again, I would never buy this for myself, but it was for a video. This is the Supreme Kaweco Mechanical Pencil. This baby is so sleek, it's so nice. Do you see like the craftsmanship, the way it's so thick, uh, the heaviness, like I, out of all the expensive stuff that I've ever bought for any of those videos, the Supreme Callaway Co. is where it's at. Okay, so while I was drawing the eye, I made it a little bit wonky. You know, I could have made it a little bit more rounder, so obviously I'm gonna need to erase it. And this brings us a perfect opportunity to show my favorite eraser. Faber-Castell's Pencil Eraser. Now, these come in a pack of two and you can get them for, I think $10 on Amazon. This eraser alone is definitely what I would like to say a specialty item. So it is, it is gonna be a little pricey. But I mean, this pencil works so incredibly well. 
especially when you want to get into like really detailed spots. Ooh. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of color to this. So the next most expensive item that I am going to use are the Caran d'Ache colored pencils. Now some of you guys may remember these because again, I did a video on these for my cheap versus expensive series. And for those of you guys who did watch that video, you guys remember the price on these babies. Now, I have not used these pencils since because I just can't justify using these, you know? Like, every time I think about using them, I'm like, uh, do I really want to waste $90 on a drawing? No, not really. But these pencils are so beautiful. They are definitely like a collector's item. They're definitely something I love to have in my collection. And, uh, you know, whenever I'm feeling a little extra bougie, I can flex on people. And I think some of the colors are really interesting. Like, I think they have such, these by far, by far are the best formulation of any colored pencil that I have ever used. Like I'm just saying, if you in your life are really into colored pencils and you have a little extra money you want to spend on yourself, I cannot recommend these babies enough. And if any of you guys want to flex on people, I will link all the supplies down below for you guys to buy off Amazon. And don't get me wrong, these pencils are absolutely incredible. They're the best formulation I've ever used, but I don't think that there's anything that Prismacolor can't do that these pencils can do. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And same with the Supreme pencil and like all the other stuff. Okay, so at this point we have finished with the main thing which was coloring and even though it looks pretty good right now, we're still not at that like completed look. Like, you know, I still want to do a little bit more to it. Like I need to do a little bit of work on the eyes, a little bit on the beak, and you know, you know just kind of like little spruce it up a little bit. So I'm going to go in with not just a white pen, but this deco marker, which is probably going to be a little bit thick but I think it's gonna work great for what I need to do. And I don't know how much I got this, but I do remember I got it on clearance, and when I saw how much it originally was, I was like, oh, no, oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna spend that much money. Let's be real here. Uh, it might be out. <laughs> if we gonna be real here, it might actually be out. Oh, no, it's working, it's working. Now, I couldn't find the exact one that I had bought from Hobby Lobby, and when I found this on Amazon, it was about a similar price, you know, seven, eight dollars. And if I can remember, it was fifteen dollars for the two pack, so that seems about right. That's about Copic price, so that's that's kind of pricey in my book. And then to clean it up, I'm gonna go in with uh, this thingy right here. This dude, yeah, him. What's up? And I'm just gonna like scrape away any parts that I think look super unrealistic or just don't look good. And yeah, if you are gonna do this, be very careful with what you're doing because obviously you don't wanna get stuff everywhere. I say as I get stuff everywhere. And yeah, so at this point you're probably thinking what else could there be done? Like we got the highlights, we got the shadows, we got everything involved. But there is still one last thing that I wanna get done with my favorite Castell artist pens. Now the point of these is to outline, I'm going to put my signature and just clean it up one last time and clean out the lines and just make it look a little bit more uh, in detail. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go in with the uh, extra small. Yay, yeah, uh, something like this. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the final drawing. Uh, it's 2009, well, it's getting close to 2019, and I want to be a better artist, so I put a lot of time into this drawing. I hope you guys like it, and of course, the final cost of this drawing was a total of... 
But anyway, before we leave this video, I just want to one last time really hammer it in that you don't need expensive professional art supplies to make good artwork. This is a very rare occasion that I'm using all of these nice things. So anyway, guys, thank you so much again for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you next video. Bye! And now a little bit about Squarespace. Squarespace makes making a website super easy. You start off with their customizable templates, which they have a huge variety of and recently added even more for you guys to choose. It's an all-in-one platform with nothing to install, patch, or upgrade ever. In fact, I made this whole entire website last night in about an hour. That's how easy it was. They have an award-winning customer service that's 24-7. You can set up or even transfer an old domain and manage them all with their DNS interface. Face. And of course, manage your online store, products, inventory, all of that easily. I'm telling you guys, if you're an artist, you want to make a portfolio, you want to sell your artwork online, head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch that website, go to squarespace.com slash superraydizzle to save 10% off your first purchase. Ready to start your business? Make it with Squarespace.